Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. Um, Tijan and I are going to talk about our discoveries um, with skincare products that we have really loved this last year. 2017. So launches or things that we've just got addicted to that we, we probably would not really want to be left without. Exactly. So, uh, Tijan, can you start? Well, we actually as well have done the um, colour products and makeup products on my channel. Yes, yeah. And these videos will go up at the same time. So if you want to see the first part of the video, just click down below. Yes, onto your channel. Onto my and channel. And we did that it. will be makeup, makeup. and, and this, yeah. this is just skincare. So, I don't know what to start. Oh, I know. I'm going to start with this little oil by Votary. And it's the Blemish Rescue Oil. I've actually used quite a lot, but not that much, mm. considering how much I've used it. Um, and I think I got this in a gift bag on the Liberty Beauty press days. And I sort of kept it around, so I was really confused how an oil could be not just, you know, a face oil, but a spot treatment, because that's kind of what it is. And the size would... Yeah, you'd normally so, imagine it to be in a sort of purifying... Yeah, thing a purifying that, thing. Yeah, something so not an oil. Exactly, yeah. a spot treatment oil did seem a little bit strange, but I, I used it one day on a spot. Like, it wasn't a cystic spot, and it wasn't a blackhead, it was kind of in between. I actually got one like that now. It's kind of a little bit raised and a little bit red, but not, like, deep under the skin. Mm. And, it, and it actually kind of went away by the next day. It like, was half the size, the soreness had gone, it didn't feel like under the skin anymore, and then with repeated use it like completely went away. And it was also very good at little, um, little white heads or little black heads, at getting rid of those. I and what the, ingredient, the components the are. The two ones are tamanu and salicylic. Oh, okay. And okay, nice. um, it doesn't like burn the skin or irritate the skin, it just feels very gentle. Um, so totally different to your normal sort of spot treatment that would be more aggressive. Um, it doesn't dry the skin out either around it, so you don't have that flaky bit of skin that you don't have to cover with concealer that looks horrible. It kind mm. of nourishes the skin, so I think it's a really They're revolutionary good, they? product. Votary. Votary. Yeah, yeah, an amazing brand, so love that. I Just, use a nighttime oil. What does it smell like, that one? Um, Is it quite medicinal? Much. Yeah. What would you use yeah. then for a cystic spot? Oh, it does smell quite... This is what you can't use anything on, really. Right. I mean, I, 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 put, I put this on as well and it would probably help. I don't yeah. really have, luckily, cystic spots that badly anymore. Well, I am going to start with a launch which was quite late in the year, Lixia, and uh, they have this really lovely pale pink packaging. Really lovely this packaging. This is a really good cleanser. It's called Electra Gel Cleanser. You have to massage it in for quite a long time mm -hmm. and leave it on the skin for a minute before you wash it off. Pale pink packaging is lovely. Uh, it just on a personal level, it'd probably be better to have it on a pump dispenser. It doesn't mm. stand anywhere, so it's like a tube of toothpaste. I find that it quite lovely. annoying, but it looks really lovely. The smell of this product is yeah. great. I, I do like a little it's bit of scent. So much. Wow. Yeah, it's nearly gone. It's nearly gone. That really should have gone in my empties video, which is going to be my next one, which is also a product that I have oh, wow, loved. It's a beautiful it scent. smells lovely. It mm, can be used in any kind of, it smells really clean and fresh, doesn't it? But it's got some Almost sort like of aromatherapy. Yeah, and it's it's amazing. You massage that in every last drop mm. of, you can take it, I eye, uh, eye makeup off with it. Really? But I don't. It oh, okay. says you can, I actually just use a regular super drug okay. Garnier one yeah. to take my eye makeup off because I just feel that's a little bit cleaner. Absolutely brilliant product and I love it. So that's been a new one, um, which I'm now a little bit hooked. I think a bit of lipstick on your teeth. Okay. Always a little bit of lipstick on my teeth. Yeah, no. oh. Before you started doing the lip greek lip shade in 2018. Yeah, right. <laughs> so one of my favourites that I... This is my second bottle. I don't know how much I've used. Actually, I need to get a third one. Is yeah. it? Seriously? Yeah, it's my second oh one. Oh, goodness. Right. Um, and I use this twice a day. It's the Vichy Mineral 89 Fortifying and Plumping Daily Booster. And I just mix two things of this in with my moisturiser. Just my Roche Posay one. I use one pump of moisturiser, two pumps of this. And it is amazing. When it says fortifying, has it got uh, antioxidants and peptides? No, I actually have no things. idea what's in it. I think it's mainly um, it minerals it? and hyaluronic acid and the Vichy thermal spring water. Yes. Um, yeah. And it is just... So that will be the plumping, the hyaluronic acid. It feels acid. like a jelly. It feels like jelly and it's so nice on the skin. Yeah, that's um, lovely. And I use it morning and evening. Um, it's a hydrating serum. Deeply hydrating. It's, mm. When you do your makeup after, it just feels so lovely. I was going to say, it, it's got a feeling of almost like a primer. Yeah, exactly. It, yeah. 
So it's perfect at night and it's amazing in the morning because it does feel like a really incredible primer. Yeah, my second bottle of it. Um, it's only launched in end of September or early mm. October. Yeah. And I am obsessed with it and I would never be without it. Really gentle. Also, I think it calms redness or calms blemishes and it just kind of does everything. Mm. Because you often it's very calm that you your skin was really flaky and dry. Yeah, yeah exactly. And I started using this yeah. around about the time that the weather was changing mm. um, from sort of summer to autumn. And then um, you've got central heating on at home as well, exactly. which dries out. And it's incredible. I don't think it's that expensive mm. either. So. Don't you love the way that you've got La Roche-Posay, Vichy, they yeah. are all getting onto the very, very important things like the antioxidants, the peptides, yeah. Aven. You know, that you can go into boots, you can buy these products, you need a little bit of help. Because there's nobody behind the counter, yeah. you're not necessarily, you're not getting the help. But if you watch enough beauty um, blog, you, you read blogs, you watch enough mm. YouTube videos and you know people can inform you as to what you should be buying and what you can save your money on. I exactly. mean I'm going to go on to a really high-end product that's yeah. very expensive however mm. I'm a big fan of the fact now that the, the high street is coming yeah. on to the other uh, pharmaceutical. So my, um, I've always been a fan of La Mer and the new uh, launch that they did in 2017 was a range called Genesance and they have a serum mm -hmm. and um, an eye cream. This is a lotion and it's, an, it's like an essence. Uh, um, I think uh, SK2 used to do a really lovely yeah. essence. So it's quite unctuous, you have to, the packaging is just beautiful Shine. as well. Yeah. Um, and I do this day and night now, I'll pour uh, it's quite milky. It's not too. It's not too liquid. Oh, it smells. It smells like typical. Yeah, Lama it's, scent. it's got so the lemon smell. Magic bath. Oh, I love it. it so smells after like I, so luxurious and expensive. Yeah, it does, and it and it is incredibly luxurious. Oh. This is like a serum. I'm actually going to put it on now because it doesn't really matter <laughs> what I'm doing. Pat it on, and your skin drinks it up. I will cleanse, and I will then use a glycolic toner. Yeah. Um, and I'll discuss that with a, a routine, then I will press this into my skin wow. all around the eye area before I start on serums and I can mix and match three, four or five yeah. serums depending on what my skin needs, if it's like hyaluronic yeah. or whatever. But that is just like, it, it is an essence, it's an absolute yeah. essence of youth. I feel so hydrated. The eye cream, I might as well do yeah. two in one because it's, it's part of the brand. same range. Yeah. This is the eye cream. Um, I will use an eye serum before and that's I use the that. Eye yeah, it's part of the cream. same same range. It is so honestly, it's like t it's turning back the clock. Mm. This is expensive, but a tiny bit goes a long way. You've got lovely packaging. You've got the little magnetic thing mm -hmm. here, so you take your product out with the. Um, is it like a balm? Yeah, yeah, it is. And, and then you me. use oh, wow. this uh, as a oh, cooling. That smells amazing. You know into this area so if you've got any puffiness it smells incredible a little goes a very long way i drink up eye cream and mm. i reapply this i wouldn't put on mm. more than once a day um, i've got other products which i might use just mm. to retouch if i'm feeling a bit dry around the eye area but um it's it's a dream uh highly highly recommend it um what can i say la mer can never go wrong for me no <laughs> never so I'm actually going to talk about these two again together because they're from the same range by the same brand and it's actually uh, Tata Harper and this is their um, clarifying moisturiser for blemish prone skin um, but it's such a lovely moisturiser, it smells yeah, what does beautiful. It smell like? Oh my goodness, it's really, it's like geranium flower. Yeah. I expected a more medicinal. No, it's amazing smell. Oh my goodness, I would love and that. And it's kind of like deeply hydrating, but almost mattifying as well at the same time. So again, really That's good, um, really good before makeup. If you want to try some. This but, is, it's it's amazing. Amazing. This and it is amazing. This is incredible. Feels, this is like a yeah. body lotion. This yeah, moment. and it feels stunning on the skin. Um, mm -hmm. I highly recommend it if you suffer with sort of problematic skin, but you also suffer with dry skin as well. That's um, really common. It's really and yeah, some people exactly. don't even know, do they? Exactly. That they're dry and and congested. Exactly, and um, and this is just yeah, really good all round moisturizer. Fantastic morning and night. Great under makeup. Will kind of keep your skin a little bit more matte for a bit longer. And um, and you get quite a lot. I mean, I think I've got like that much left, and I've been using it for quite a long time. So, so and I love the pump as well. Serum with first. it, yeah. Or oh, you'll mix them with it, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I love that.
Oh, and then the other thing, also a bit messy, I should have wiped this, is the Tata Harper clarifying mask. A really greeny, sort of jelly-like texture. It smells amazing. It just leaves skin feeling so, it's kind of like exfoliating as well. It's, it's not like your typical clarifying. I've not come oh, across this. This is hands. amazing. Yes, of course I wash my hands. Oh my God, oh. it's got gr it's gritty. Yeah, it's gritty, so it's like deeply exfoliating as well as being um, sort of rejuvenating and hydrating and clarifying all in one. It's one of the best all in one um, face masks I think I've, oh, I've ever tried. Has and it got any uh, acids in it? No, I don't think so. I don't, it might do actually. Brown I'm, not, I'm not sure. Um, but it's a fantastic mask. How Just long do you leave it on? I leave it on for about 20 minutes. So you'll cleanse, put that on, yeah. and then it's got the grit, it's got the yeah. little exfoliation thing, and then wipe off with a flannel. Yeah, you'd need a flannel, wouldn't you? Yeah, you do, because it's it gets not kind of around the hair as well, so make sure you use a hairband. That's the thing, isn't it, about some face yeah. masks? If you try and put them on before you're going out and your hair's already looking clean and you don't need to wash it. Exactly. That was uh, that was one of my problems in the run up to Christmas. I had some really good sheet masks yeah. and I wanted to put them on before I went out and my hair was didn't need to be washed yeah. again. And if you do that as a kind of flash mask before mm. your makeup and you end up with it all in the hair hairline, yeah. but you know, small price to pay is both exactly. rejuvenating. Now I'm back on the eyes because um, eye hydration and anti-aging I hate that term, anti-aging. Mm. I don't know why. I mean, we all age, but it's preventative and trying to keep yeah. any lines at bay. This is a Guerlain uh, product, Orchidée Imperial, of their range, their top of the uh, range, range. Um, product. Uh, this is a, an eye serum. An eye serum, yeah. They, a lot of eye serums now, whereas before, everybody was always told to sort of dab eye products mm. around the sort of eye bone area and let it migrate. This one, you, as a little product there, they recommend that you literally pull the eye and wipe it over the lid and underneath on oh both. Yeah. So you actually get it and onto the lid. And you put this on before you use eye cream? Yes, I do. And this is firming yeah. for the lids because it's not just um, under eye. Yeah, but the top, the, the top, the top uh, of the lid starts to yeah. get crepey and the skin but needs fortification and yeah. firming. Uh, interesting, um, I didn't know that. I've noticed a difference because yeah. when I put on eye makeup, you you notice as you age, you do notice a, a, a difference in the mm. way that your skin hangs and falls. And some people, some women when they get older, actually get put off entirely with putting mm. eye makeup on because they feel they've got so many creases and folds. Really good eye products yeah, um, prevent that very, that. very early on will stop that, will won't stop it. They'll slow down that process yeah. because hydration and peptides in the eye area are what's required. So mm. this is really firming. So I'll use that prior to any other, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm, I've actually got another eye product as well after this, but I uh, might as well load them all on. So what's your next one? This is my last one actually. Okay. And it's my favourite cleanser. Again, this is my second one. Um, and it is the La Roche-Posay uh, Makeup Remover Milk. And it's their physiological um, range. And it smells like lemonade, this. I love the smell. It's definitely got fragrance in, but it doesn't upset my skin. And this is really good at removing makeup. I only use this in the evening because I don't actually wash my face in the morning anymore. But I use this like, I can use it two or three times and it won't be too much because it won't strip the skin I use it with a flannel and it just removes everything um, really well and I used to love the physiological range from the Roche Posay, they used to have a gel cleanser but they just continued that about yeah. three years ago and that was my favourite. So when I found this milk I thought it was um, a nice departure from my usual Tolerian and it actually removes makeup much better than Tolerian and I like the pump, I prefer everything about it, the scent. Um, don't smell it, it smells really yeah nice. I'd love to smell it. What's the, um, would you use a toner after that? Uh, I do, I use Cerozinc by Roche Posay. Oh, Cerozinc is a toner. Yeah, it's right. A toner. Yes, it's. It smells or a bit like bubblegum to me. Yeah, it does. Just got like yeah, a lemonade it's, bubblegum. It's, it's really. Like sweet. Sweets. sweets. Yeah, it it's, is. It smells yeah. like sweets. <laughs> yeah, it's lovely. Again, if you like fragrance and the skin just feels really lovely and smooth and yeah. supple after, I love it. That's uh, that. My that feels like cleanser. that it's feels like a really nice cleanser. Yeah, it's lovely. So, in terms of, I'm actually not going to do eyes again because I've just been on the eye thing. The um, launches last year of the Desiem parent company of Niod and Ordinary have kind of really I'm taken over your taken life. over the whole of the beauty industry. Yeah, you love them. They've spun it on its head. I love them. 
and they've made so many great products available and affordable. There's all sorts of confusing uh, information. I don't mm. know that people necessarily are informed enough. If you go into mm. their shops, it's probably wonderful. I've not actually been into a shop no. yet. But when there are concessions in stores, you just really need to scout around yourself, which mm. is great actually, because sometimes you don't really want to be hassled by somebody. Yeah. You don't want to be told what to buy. And if you properly look, and if you're informed enough to know what you need to buy, um, I'm going to do a video about my best discoveries of The Ordinary, mm -hmm. because there are so many, and as I said, it's revolutionized and yeah. kind of disrupted the beauty industry a little. This is by Niod. It is called Neck Elasticity Catalyst. Apparently, it's one of the most um, the best sellers on QVC. Oh, really? I've been told. Quite often, yeah. my Joe Lawson loves it. It's her favourite product. Really? Yeah. Oh, isn't that interesting? Well, I didn't know that. Yeah. So I love this. It's it's a odd um, formulation. It yeah. Again, I'm it's it. it's like a oh. jelly, and it, you almost oh. feel like it's firming and it's kind of scaffolding. I put this on the neck and you're meant to take it onto the sort of bottom third of your face. So this area traditionally around the um, the you know mm. the jowls as you'd say, it's supposed to kind of like repair the scaffolding yeah. of the face. Well, have the you seen the yeah, definitely. Firmer really? and there there are all sorts of techniques that you can use with soft. facial massage. It's soft but it's also it, it it's lifted. It's yeah. it, it feels lifted. Um, compared to, I mean, it's minuscule, and I, I'm not. I'm not just saying it. I yeah. know that it's a little bit more defined here yeah. with the continued use. You need to obviously massage it in. Mm -hmm. You only take it up to that part of the face because you don't. It's a. But when it's when it says neck, it's not mm. really just neck. It's neck and lower third of the face, the jaw area. And uh, I've never been a great one for using separate products for the neck. I've always taken mm. any serums or creams down onto that area, but. Uh, as you get older, there's probably more um, uh, stronger ingredients that are needed, and this has been an absolute winner. It does feel quite tacky afterwards, I'll be honest. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily feel, if you use this morning and night, in the day, if you've got long hair, it'll kind of swish onto it and maybe mm -hmm. get a bit stuck, if you're going to find a negative on it. Or you just use it at night yeah. and not in the day, but it's it's absolutely brilliant. Love it. Perfect. Your last one? So, my last one is... Uh, an absolutely brilliant, I, really love, I yeah. love, love, love this product, Trish McAvoy, um, and it's a retinol eye cream. They call it a cream, which is a misnomer because it's not a cream. It's, it's a, it's very similar to the neck elasticity. It's like a, a gel. Yeah. Full, packed full with retinol, which is, uh, we all know, the, yeah. product, uh, the properties of retinol. This is not something for uh, an older person. I would recommend this from mid-20s really? upwards because retinol is really, really good at, at preventing. At preventing. Mm. It, um, it feels quite... Uh, you're going to need to let that it sink in. It feels like in. silicon almost. Yeah, it, it, it is. It is very much a silicon. Mm. Um, it's a brilliant product. Mm. Absolutely brilliant. Again, over the eyelid and around about. So these are all eye creams which I'll alternate but um, use on a daily basis and has seen you know I've seen I've seen really good yeah. results with them really really enjoyed it I've enjoyed listening to yours because again every time we do this we get to that thing where we're so polarized with yeah. our skin um, our skin needs and the yeah. products that we that we that we veer Very towards true. Um, the one thing I was interested in with yours mm -hmm. which I was more surprised was how fragrant they all were, yeah. which is really lovely because although they're quite simple and simplistic, yeah, they're, all, they're, all, they're, they're all scented yeah. really beautifully, which is... Well, actually, fragrance isn't, unless you've got some proper, proper skin problem, like maybe severe rosacea, fragrance shouldn't be an irritant. Isn't? No, it shouldn't be an irritant no. at all, but some people confuse that yeah. and think that it's going to cause a breakout. A breakout. Okay. Thank you for having me on well, your channel. Oh, I've really enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have some more new subscribers. All your comments about um, any other videos that you think we should do together, mm -hmm. um, uh, anything that you'd like me to talk about, I'd be really, really happy to hear. I do respond to all my comments, I read them all, and um, I'd mm -hmm. love to know, I'd love to know what you think. See you soon. Bye. Bye.